Just One More by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Allison Edgson. Snack time was over, bath time was over. That meant just one thing. Story time, cried Little Brown Bunny. So Mommy read him a story, then another, then another. Just one more, begged Bunny. So Daddy read him one more story right to the end. Still Bunny said, just one more? Grandma's turn, sighed Daddy Rabbit. When Grandma had read all the dragon books and Grandpa had read them again, Bunny still wanted just one more. Mommy yawned, a great big yawn. But look, we've read all your stories, she said. And no more stories means it's time to sleep. Oh, answered Bunny. Maybe, he whispered, I'll make a bedtime book. A super long one. Then story time will last all night. The next morning, Little Brown Bunny hopped out of bed. Hooray, he cried. Time to make my story. He bounced across to his making things box. Soon he was writing big, long words and drawing lots of pictures. At last, he picked up his heavy book. This was going to be the longest story ever. Are you sitting comfortably, he asked his toys. We might be here a long, long time. Two minutes later, it was all over. Mom, called Bunny. My super long story wasn't super long at all. Don't worry, said Mom. Why don't you ask your friends what stories they like? Then you can add them to your book. Great idea, cried Bunny, and off he went. Little Owl was playing with his rocket when Bunny bounced in. My favorite stories, Little Owl hooted, are ones about flying to the moon. Zoom! I love the moon too, said Little Brown Bunny. Thanks, Little Owl. And he blasted off to find Little Mouse. Little Mouse was having a teeny snack when Bunny bounded in. I love stories about cheese, she mumbled. Big cheese, small cheese, round cheese, stinky cheese, any cheese, really. Thanks, Little Mouse, giggled Bunny, holding his nose. And off he raced to find Little Wolf. Little Wolf was having a tea party when Bunny bounded in. Well, I do love stories about piggies, he said, and about Grandma with the big furry ears. My favorite story, grinned Daddy Wolf, is the one about... Hugs! Oh, Daddy, giggled Little Wolf, what big arms you have. All the better to hug you with, chuckled Daddy Wolf. And he gave his boy a big daddy kiss on the nose. Thanks for your help, Bunny called. And off he hopped all the way back home. Little Brown Bunny got out his book and scribbled down stories of moons made of cheese and rockets and big fluffy hugs. By the time he had finished, it was dark outside. Come on, everyone, he called. This is going to be the best, most super duper storybook ever. He opened his book ever so carefully and took a deep breath. 
Then Little Brown Bunny fell fast asleep. The end.